Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video we are discussing skincare apps and why these sources of information are actually loaded with a bunch of misinformation and a lot of fear mongering. <laughs> I do want to point out that I am not a skincare expert, nor have I ever claimed to be. I am a skincare enthusiast, or as the cool kids say these days, skin enthusiast. Skin enthusiast. But most importantly, I am a consumer. And so, whether you are a skincare novice or a skincare addict, then looking at the back at the ingredients list of our skincare products can be overwhelming at times. Like what are all of these fancy names? How do I know this product's going to work? How do I know it's going to work for my skin? Or how do I know if I'm not going to react to it? And with all of the confusion out there, some forward thinking people created these skincare apps and have pocketed millions and millions of pounds by either having in-app purchases, by subscriptions or by advertising. After all, you do have to spend your hard-earned money on these skincare products, so why not just spend more money trying to find out what these long fancy names actually mean? And so Think Dirty is a skincare app that uses a huge database of skincare products, probably actually if I'm right in believing 1.8 million different products that are marketed all around the world. And what they do is so sort of they decode the ingredients list and range it into three different subcategories. So the first category is dirty, which is in the colour red. And so this is you know making you believe that these ingredients are really harmful for your skin. And then you have half and half, which is in the color red and this is kind of saying this ingredient will be problematic um, but it might be okay for your skin and then we have in green the word clean <laughs> you know which that those skincare ingredients are going to be amazing for your skin because we all know clean skincare is the way forward and so after searching in for a product you would immediately go to the dirty like what is in this skincare product that it damaging my skin or could potentially be really harmful for my body. And this is where the problem lies. Well, many, many different problems with this app, but this is initially where the problem lies. And so I have the Think Dirty app open on my phone here, and I've just typed in a standard La Roche Posay and Felios sunscreen product. I actually think this product is US based because I've not seen the SPF 60 version here in UK drugstores before. And immediately I'm targeted and sort of drawn to the ingredients highlighted in red, which is dirty. So the first ingredient highlighted in red is oxybenzone. And you know, it's a sunscreen element, a sunscreen ingredient product. It filters UV rays and it is a penetration enhancer. And it says the health impacts are toxic to aquatic organisms. And this is where the issue lies because it doesn't actually give you any further explanation or research or sort of information on why oxybenzone is toxic to coral organisms. And if you use the Think Dirty app religiously and then instantly you'd be like, I'm never ever using a sunscreen product with oxybenzone in it again. However, what the app fails to tell you is basically give you more information on why oxybenzone is damaging the coral reefs. And it's also not allowing you to kind of go out there and look at further research and different studies and different information on oxybenzone and coral reefs. Because when you actually look at the studies and reliable sources, you would then sort of understand that the concentrations of oxybenzone was incredibly high to a small sort of dense area of the coral reef. So that is why it caused coral bleaching. But in realistic terms, if people were out snorkeling or out in the sea and the oxybenzone, you know, was washing into the sea, the ocean is ginormous, like it is absolutely huge. So sort of like the volume of ocean compared to what we are putting on our bodies and a specific, specifically the concentration of ox oxybenzone in that sunscreen product is minuscule. And yes, everything in high amounts and high concentrations is really harmful to us and also the environment. However, there is just not enough studies and enough research being undertaken on the damaging effects of oxybenzone and also coral reefs. And then looking at another ingredient from the same product which is highlighted in red is methyl paraben. And so what Think Dirty say is some studies of breast tumors show a buildup of meth methyl parabens in the breast tissue, possible reproductive toxicity. So 
And so parabens have been used in our cosmetics for over 100 years now and are extensively regulated and also tested on you know a consistent basis. However, one inconclusive study that was under-researched and well not on human skin related to tumour growth in the breast tissue. And then all of a sudden the media exaggerated these inaccurate claims and made us all believe that parabens actually contributed to cancer. When in a matter of fact the level of concentrations of parabens used in our skincare products is minuscule and the study that was taken um, used parabens in much higher concentrations and basically were done on rats not humans <laughs> however the think dirty app does not stop there oh no so i've got this tropic cleanser here and it's a tropic smoothing cleanser and it's actually got a rating of zero which is all green basically that means that it's suitable for all skin types and every everyone basically and it's not going to harm your skin in any way shape or form however when you're looking on the ingredients list you've got lemon you've got linoleum you've got citral you've got geraniol those are all different fragrant components which can be incredibly irritating to sensitive skin users yes absolutely fragrance is not the devil and most people can tolerate it but what the app is again failing to tell you is if you have sensitive skin most of these fragrance components will actually really upset your skin and cause inflammation and also irritation and of course i used to fall for these claims and these inaccurate statements just from one website but what i've learned over the past year when talking to you guys about skincare ingredients and about formulations is that i actually get my information from different researches different multi like different websites and different papers and articles and so on just to back up what i'm saying and i know that the things that i'm saying to you guys is as accurate as possible from the information that i can gather and what i urge you guys to do is to delete the think dirty app and other skincare apps that decode ingredients and basically fear among you into making you believe that certain ingredients are really harmful for your skin and your body without proper research and proper backed scientific evidence make sure you look at multiple different websites different papers different articles and different studies before disregarding a product because of a certain certain ingredient when in a matter of fact it could be the overall formulation that is absolutely fantastic and that will work for your skin and with that being said only you know your skin and not some lame app that is trying to fear monger your soul and your you know your love for skincare products it's the concentrations and it's the formula that matters that is what makes a skincare product. So a glycolic acid is, you know, gonna be perfect for our skin between the concentrations of two to 10% or, you know, 12% or whatever. And also salicylic acid is best used in concentrations from one to 2%, but can still be effective in, you know, 0.5% concentration. But if you take those exfoliating acids and have them in concentrations of 50% or 100%, not a chance is that going to be pretty there are some skincare apps that of course you know do good in this world like you know reminding you to drink water or reminding you to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day however like i said the skincare apps that decode ingredients and that have a rating of if it, whether ingredients are good for your skin or dirty or clean are just you're better than that you are better than that and so i really do hope you've enjoyed this video and definitely deleted that thing dirty app because there are so much more reliable sources out there and reliable people with incredible information to offer you instead of an app that charges you money oh scam so yeah thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one see you later Bye bye